forward to that. This week he has the number 16 song. It's called All in His Hands. We're loving on it. That's right. Looking for this one. It is making a slow climb. This yes, good. it is. So we're looking for this one to make its way to the top 10. My goodness. Congratulations, <laughs> Bishop Marvin Sapp, holding down the number 15 spot. A friend of mine, uh, haven't talked to him in a little while. As a matter of fact, the last conversation we had, I won't even try to remember that far back. We were at the Stellars when we had conversation. J.J. Harrison. The song is entitled Thankful, and I'm just excited for what God, again, is doing in this young man's life. Of course, you know now he's pastoring. Uh, he's not that far yeah. from me. Uh, we're both in Maryland, and we're probably about 15 minutes apart from each other. And, you know, God is doing some amazing things, elevating him and taking him in places he's never been. So, of course, he's always going to be in our prayers for where God is taking him because pastoring is no easy job. And then he's on the road as a musician or should I say as a uh, director and the leader of mm -hmm. the all powerful. Uh, and I know people say they see JJ Harrison now, but youthful praise is still there. They're in varied forms, but they are still there. So JJ, our love goes out to you. And like everybody else, our prayers go out to you. We look for even bigger and even better. And we look for him to crack the top 10 within the next two. Or three. <laughs> Let's wait and see what happens. Now, no, 14 is our girl. Yeah, I, oh, okay. so let me let you. You went into JJ. <laughs> <laughs> you see how you did? You went to JJ from Bishop. So I said, oh, okay, I must be doing dough. All right, so I'll do dough. 14 okay. is our girl, dough. Yes. So when I pray, we debuted this one several months ago. Mm -hmm. It's actually been in the countdown only for a short while, only about 15 weeks. So this one, again, is also making a slow climb, which is good. We'll look for this one in the top five. Yes, <laughs> I believe she'll get there. Jokia, the song Let Him In at number 13. And uh, Jokia has, you know, I don't know if you get to listen to other stations, some of the major Internet stations. And when we hear her, Jokia, her sound to me is original. You know, that person that has that sound that's identifiable. This is mm -hmm. Jokia an identifiable sound. You know, when you okay. hear Richard Smallwood, you know him. When you hear John P. Key, you know him. When you hear Keith Wonderboy Johnson, you know him, <laughs> you know. But my yeah. point is, Jokia is in that mix. You can't miss her. Mm -hmm. Her contemporary sound stands out. But this is in my mind. So earnest one and one don't mean your salvation is based upon it. This is just what mm -hmm. I think personally. I want to make sure folks mm -hmm. know that. How about the number 12 spot? You know what I think about this. I'm going to let you talk about it. <laughs> you know, you have different people like an R&B that you compare um, artists to. So I was thinking about this. I'd say Brian Courtney Wilson is the Marvin Gaye yeah. of gospel music. You know, okay. Here's Wish. You definitely know it's him. And he's just so smooth. Yeah. And so just so great. <laughs> yeah. He definitely. It's like everything that he touches, you got to have. Silky. So our congratulations to him. 13 weeks in the countdown with this song. Um, it's an awesome one. Sure as, of course, everything he has, I have it too. Uh, it's number 12 this week. It's also making its way to the top 10. So we'll look for that one there. <laughs> All right. And just knocking at the door, he had something. And folks, I say this in jest. It doesn't mean this actually happened. He had a dog fight for the number 10 spot just last <laughs> week. And he may be down two spots, but coming back up. Lamont Sanders had a chance to even hear mm -hmm. the song just before we started this podcast. And yeah, I, love I, I still love his song. He kept Cool, super yes. cool individual. I'm just sitting there. I was looking at if that's his CD cover, album cover, whatever you want to call it. Truth of the matter is just one super cool. And love the hat, by the way, Lamont. <laughs> I love the hat. But, you know, he's kind of a hip-hop guy, isn't yes, he? He's kind he of hip-hop. Well, you know, he's worked with Babyface. Yes. He's worked with Andre Harrell. Uh -huh. He's been in the music business a long time, so he's not new. Nope. Uh, he teamed up with Uncle Freddie, Fred Jerkins, mm -hmm. uh, Dark Child Gospel. So what do you expect? Uh, I featured this song on the, yeah, the recent show that I did on up-and-coming new independent artists. And, of course, he's on there. 
So this is a great song, and we're looking for more great things from Lamont Sanders. I think he's going to be around for. I believe that. I believe that. And now, I, I, and again, I got to put another one of your famous quotes out there. This young lady is just doing, no, I'll let you say, it. what's she doing to us? What is she doing to Slow us? Slow dragging us to heaven. <laughs> Love her to it's life. Because she's the ballad queen, right? Yes. Yes. She's, yeah. she's actually, I call mm-hmm. her the reigning princess of gospel. That's my opinion. Again, I think of yeah. the reigning princess of gospel. Uh, you know, of course, we know Shirley Caesar is the queen, and what are we going to do? But I'm calling her the reigning princess of gospel because Tam Man has, in a short amount of time, since the early '90s, this sister has just really got it done. He did it for me is just another one of her multiple, soon to be, and actually, this was number one for about at least a week, if I'm not mistaken. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I would say safely in the last five years, she's had at least one number one song so you know that that's a staple right there to me you get five six number ones in the same within a period i gotta put make a dynasty out of you not that we make <laughs> dynasties out of gospel music but you know what to expect when you hear the name Tamla man so we're looking for her to get back she's just holding down number 10 i figure she's gonna get back to the top five again because this song is just not going away i'm gonna tell you like that for those of you that like tear jerkers, get some tissue when you're listening in those moments of loneliness to sit back <laughs> and hear this testimony from this great woman of God. I promise you, you're going to go through at least a quarter of a box of Kleenex just on the special alone. <laughs> I got a little story about Tamil, not about her specifically, but I get a call. You know, I get people because I talk about artists all the time, because I play them on the radio, I must know them all, right? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> so this pastor calls me from Virginia. Uh-huh. I'm not going to say his name, but he calls me and he's like, oh, oh, sis, how you doing? Oh, yeah, you know, we're loving your show down here. We hear your news all the time. Um, kind of favor to ask you. I said, you know, if I can, sure, I'd love to help. And he says, uh, do you have Sister Tamla Mann's phone number? I said, oh, wow. <laughs> I said, I don't. Uh-huh. I said, you know, what's up? I said, I can maybe find someone who can, I said, are you all trying to bring her down there? You know, you wanted to come down there and minister? He said, oh, yeah. He said, I like her. And the way he said it, I said, okay. Pastor. I said, okay. <laughs> I said, I'm sure she'll be bringing Brother David, her husband, with her. So, uh, you know, calm down, right? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> I thought it, he was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." I can hear David Mayer now. Oh no, you didn't. You did not. <laughs> Just make that pass in my way. I'm coming to my head. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm sure it wasn't like that. I, just, I know. I was like, I'm messing. Okay. I was like, <laughs> or maybe it was. <laughs> well, let's pray it wasn't. Let's say that, you yeah, know. Exactly. So, man, we bless God. Uh, uh, congratulations to her. Yes. Uh, this song has been in the countdown for uh, quite a while. 27 weeks. That That's that's good staying power. Still uh, kicked off the countdown, the top 10 this week at number 10. So congratulations, Sister Tamala. Uh, number nine, Todd Delaney and Smokey Norfolk. You know, I would be afraid to sing with Smokey Norfolk, wouldn't you? But- <laughs> yes, but in another way, no, because Smokey makes you comfortable. But at the same time, Smokey wants your A game. And Todd Delaney, yeah. in this song, Satisfied, he brought his oh, A yeah. game. You know, I I saw the video, I heard the uh, audio, and I mean, the combination, their uh, interaction with one another in the song, right on point. I mean, there's not, you know, you know how we in radio and TV talk about dead air. There's not a moment of dead air between the two of them. And it's a press forward to make you believe. They're literally, if they were, I'd say they're salesmen. They just sold you the car in the house of your dream. Just for me, I'm satisfied. <laughs> Such a beautiful song. And his background, man, I'm just in love yes. with Todd Delaney's background. I mean, super sharp. It's like they know what he's going to do next. 
I love backgrounds mm-hmm. that are that close. That means they have a fellowship one with another. See, most folk are looking at the artists and they're looking at the singing. I'm looking at the overall picture when I'm looking at this whole thing. And what I see with Todd Delaney and his group, and of course, Smokey in this particular song, is nothing but camaraderie. There's unity. Mm-hmm. There's a bond there. And the message is crystal clear. And I don't know about you, Miss Nina, but I am. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh yeah. I love it, love it. Yeah. Um uh go ahead. With I'm getting eight. ready to go to it. I mean I'm gonna I know you saw it and I know I saw it. Yeah. This is your brother, your, your man, 100 grand in gospel music, of course, Joshua <laughs> Rogers, just as mm-hmm. country with his tag as he can be, but just as powerful and eclectic and just very mm-hmm. forceful. He has a way of, he does something that I'm trying to describe and I don't have the word yet. I'll call you four o'clock in the morning to tell you what that word is when it comes. <laughs> But you know, his song still going trust. I mean, yeah. like he takes you through his valley experience, but then he takes you to the mountaintop when he makes the statement, I'm still going trust. He's telling me no matter yeah. what I go through, no matter what I experience, no matter what hardships may come, I'm still, yeah. I'm going to get country on this. I'm still going trust. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna keep the preacher's voice to myself because we don't want it to be 